In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus NH42SO4. We have silver nitrate, then we have ammonium sulfate. So the first thing we need to do with net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. I have one silver here and two here. So let's just put a two in front of the AgNO3. Now the silvers are balanced, but I have two nitrates here and only one here. Put a two in front of the ammonium nitrate, that balances the nitrates. We have two of those. We have two ammonium ions, but we have two here. That's good. Then we have a sulfate on each side. So that's the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the state for each substance. We know that nitrates are very soluble if you know your solubility rules. So we write AQ, aqueous. It'll dissolve in water. Another nitrate over here. That's aqueous, dissolves in water. Ammonium compounds are very, very soluble as well. So we're going to put and AQ after the ammonium sulfate. Sulfate compounds tend to be soluble, but we should probably look this one up. Silver is kind of a strange one. You want to be cautious with that. So we're looking for silver sulfate. We find silver right here, and then way over here is the sulfate. And you see most of them are S. But if we go down right here, silver sulfate, we have SS. That means it's slightly soluble. A little bit of it will dissolve. For the purpose of net ionic equations, since most of it's going to be a solid, we consider this to be insoluble. Let's go back to our equation. Since we said silver sulfate is slightly soluble, most of it's a solid, we're going to put S here. That means these two react. We have a lot of this silver sulfate solid forming. That's a precipitate. It falls to the bottom of the test tube. Now that we have our states, we can split the strong electrolytes into ions. That'll give us the complete ionic equation. So silver is always one plus and the whole nitrate ion is always one minus good one to remember so we have two silver ions and i won't write the states let's write those at the end and then two of the nitrate ions no3 minus then ammonium ion is one plus the whole thing and the whole sulfate ion is two minus you either memorize these or if you're allowed you can look them up so we have two ammonium ions and then we have just the one sulfate ion, that SO4 2 minus. These are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For net ionic equations, we don't split solids apart. So we have this precipitate here. It's a solid. We don't split it apart. We just put Ag2 SO4, keep it together. Then again, just like in the reactants here, we have the ammonium ion and the nitrate ion, two ammonium ions, and we have two of these nitrate ions, just like the reactants. So these are the products in our net ionic equation. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides. I have my reactants here and then my products. So I see I have these two nitrate ions in the reactants and two in the products. I'm going to cross those out. They're spectator ions. I have these two ammonium ions here in the reactants and in the products again. So spectator ions, we cross them out. What's left? That's the net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus NH42SO4. I'll clean this up, write the states in. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for silver nitrate plus ammonium sulfate. You note know, charge is balanced. We have 2 times 1 plus. That's 2 plus. 2 minus. That gives us a net charge of 0. Over here, it's a neutral compound. The net charge is 0 as well. Charge is balanced. And if you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus NH42SO4. Thanks for watching.